Hey, what's up guys? Um, it is a little late for a video like this because I've been doing this with my software when I started them, like at level 5 or something and have known this for quite a while because Kaiser told me about it who is another Twitch streamer. But again and again I get the question how do you get the heart of Iron Necklace before you actually have access to Varnhold and you can go anywhere on the map in Act 1 already like if you wanted to go all the way over to here you could do that too there's just one little problem with going that far is that there's gonna be a lot of random encounters so if your character isn't really good at fighting higher level enemies, that's gonna be a problem. But you can always just keep quick saving, keep reloading. So it's not the biggest deal. But Vanhold is very close, so you can get there pretty easily without having to fight too much. And normally what would happen if you get close to the fog, you get this random encounter and no matter really what you do, it doesn't matter, and you have to retreat. My life is a yeah, mine too. So, what you want to do here is, you want to wait for the little window to pop up. Then you want to press R, because R forces rest. And if you wait too long, this will happen. So, what you want to press after you pressed R is escape. So you wait for the window pop up, you press R, you press escape, and then you press space. So pressing R and, and pressing R you have a lot of time, but pressing escape and space has to be pretty much immediately after. So you press R, you press escape, you press escape, space, just like that. And yeah, not really much else to say, just wanted to show, as you can see this guy is level 2 and he can just go to Varnold, get the necklace. And the necklace is pretty cheesy, the heart of Ira. there's many things you can do with it. If you have a character with Dimension Door, you can actually kill the Lich just with the heart of Ira necklace. If you Dimension Door into the area of the Fanera, the Pensive or whatever he's called, he's like around here somewhere. In a place called Lonely Barrow, I think. So if you have invisibility, you don't even have to fight a lot of the enemies in the tomb. So you can be pretty low level. You can go there, just teleport into the Lich's chamber while you're invisible. Switch on the heart of Ira, get in range without engaging, without moving too much, just get in range that the aura will just hit the lich. You will get 500,000 XP and you will get a hat with plus 8 to all your mental stats. And yeah, there's many other areas you can access like this, so it's pretty cool. If you want to do a little try hard unfair run, this is going to be very helpful. Get free XP, get free items. And yeah, that's it. And I will be a build for my sorcerer soon because I just hit level 20 on stream yesterday. But I want to show him off against the final boss. And also, sorry, there hasn't been a VV build yet. But when I played my VV from level 16 on Unfair, for pretty much all the game from level 16, I played him on unfair, but then against the final boss I had to turn down all the way to challenging. I didn't like that, so I'm trying to come up with a better VV build. Sorry that it's late, but the sorcerer build will be very soon because I'm in Act 5 now and everything after Act 5 is pretty quick. So yeah, see you around and hopefully this helped. I will try to make more like these informative videos in the future. Bye-bye.